Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to create this very simple vase using Adobe Illustrator. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to create a new document. I'm going to go with a 1920 by 1080 pixel document. I'm just going to go to color hunt to get my colors and then I'm just going to pick the darkest color to draw my background on. And I just grabbed the rectangle tool to actually create the background. I then am going to make a new layer and then I'm going to make sure that I change the color and I'm going to draw a circle. I then am going to draw another rectangle that will cut off the base for this vase and then all you have to do is use the pathfinder tools and use minus front to subtract them. The next thing that you can do is you can round the bottom corners by just using the direct selection tool to round those corners and now we need, need to work on the actual you know the mouth of the vase. So here I'm using the pen tool to create a very vase like shape. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate it by holding Alt on my keyboard and then I'm going to mirror that. Once you have the whole vase shape, then you can unite all of those parts together to join as one solid shape. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the gradient tool and I'm going to draw a radial gradient with the lightest color being in the left hand side, but you can change it to whichever side that you want. Next up is we're going to grab the pen tool and we are going to draw the mouth of the vase. So to use the pen tool you have to make sure that you click and hold so that you can get the curve happening and if you don't want to if you don't want the pen tool to continue make sure you go back to the last point if you don't want the cu curve to continue. So anyways, we're going to change the color of the mouth to something a little bit darker so it gives it that kind of uh, 3D kind of look. And then the final thing that we need to do on this part of the vase is we're just going to add a little bit more of a highlight. And so once we do this, and I'm using the pen tool to do this, you don't have to be super accurate but it probably would be better if you do follow the outline of your vase. Um, once we have that highlight set up, you can use the um, direct selection tool and the curvature tool to kind of uh, curve out those lines so you don't have any sharp lines on there. You then need to grab the gradient tool to draw another gradient but this time you are going to uh, lower the opacity of the white side to zero so that it's a gradient that's coming into Another, another color but it has the opacity of zero so it just gives that blending effect and then you can play around with the gradient until you're happy with those results. So once you've done all that then we need to work on the shadow. So all we have to do is we just have to duplicate the entire shape and then we just have to reflect it the same way that we did for the funnel of the vase at the start of the clip. And then so the same process again with the gradient tool, we are going to set the gradient on one side to 0% opacity so that it gives that you know small mirror look out. The final thing we are going to do on our vase is we are going to be drawing a small lip using the pen tool. So again you just have to follow the size of the mouth of the vase and then you just have to create a small curve that goes from one side to the other. And so the gradient that you should use for this is a very lighter gradient. But again, you know, if you're going for a darker color scheme, that's fine as well. So now I'm happy with that. If I need to fix up any, um, any things, I can make my adjustments here. For example, the, the lip, we can go and grab that curvature tool and just grab it so it becomes a little bit thicker on both sides. And any other issues you need to fix up, you can go and do that right now. So once you've done that, the next thing that you need to do is to draw the branch. Now again, it's just using the pen tool, so you're learning how to actually curve using the pen tool. You don't want to create a thick branch, but again, you know, you, you're free to do whatever you like, really. The color for the branch, I just went with a brown gradient. So I went with a lighter color brown and a little bit of a darker color brown and then I went back in and I just uh, I used the curvature tool to just fix up and just to, to make you know a few areas a little bit 
uh, thicker. Now, I did leave that um, small little thin gap in the middle, but um, it suited the, the whole structure anyways. So the final thing that you need to do is you will need to draw the leaves. Now, the leaves are just pretty much, um, they're two very similar halves, and you will do that using the pen tool. So once you've got one half of the leaf done, you can then worry about the colors for the gradient. And I just went with um, two different greens for the gradient for the leaves. And then I, I made both halves of uh, the leaves the same kind of gradient, just with different kind of uh, settings. Now, if you're having trouble with the gradients, you know, you can change between the linear gradient and the radial gradient. Maybe that will give you a better effect. But I just went with the linear gradient here. And then once I was happy with my leaves, then all I did is I just, I, I held Alt on my keyboard and I just duplicated it. And then I can just, you know, highlight both leaves and then keep duplicating them again as you go up the branch. So once all your leaves are in place, you then need to make sure that you go into your layers panel and you just need to make sure that you put the branch on top of all of the other leaves just so you don't see um, the leaves on top of that branch. And then the final thing that I did is I just uh, adjusted the leaves a little bit just to make it a little bit more realistic. And then the last thing that we have to do is we just have to make sure that we use trim to delete the last part of that branch so that you can um, you can get that desired look but anyways guys that's it that's how to draw a vase very quickly using Adobe Illustrator anyways thanks for watching and I'll see you next time